Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining our session today. Uh, my name is Islam Ahmed. And uh, first, I need to. Uh, Lisa, can you confirm if you have any, if you can hear my voice? Yes. Sure, that's good. So uh, today our session is about uh, Dell MC surveillance solution. Uh, we will talk about uh, all the, not all, most of the surveillance product that uh, Dell MC provide to the market and how to differentiate Dell MC product than others in the competition and how to sell, how to focus on the strong, uh, key strong uh, selling points of Dell MC and how to make you more familiar about uh, the LMC product uh, dedicated for surveillance solution. Uh, but first, let's let's talk a little bit about uh, the field of the surveillance and what are uh, the challenges that we all face in the market right now. So uh, first of all, there's are changes in the surveillance technologies that are leading to huge uh, increases of the data. When we talk about the data here, we talk about the videos. And all the data uh, that is also linked to the videos. This growth can be largely attributed in uh, mostly four trends in the market right now. The first trend is the emergence of new devices. Emergence of new surveillance technologies uh, such as drones, uh, body cam, license plate uh, recognition and all these kind of uh, new devices that was never before exist. This emergence of new devices leads to a huge increase of the data. And when you talk about huge increase in data, we talk about huge increase in the, in the needs of the storage and how big is the storages and how, uh, how capable is the uh, servers to process all these data. All this data. So this that was the first trend is that the emergence of new devices. The second trend that also lead to a significant increase in data is the existence of 4K multi megapixel resolution. That's all on the rise due to the new trend, uh, on video quality. Uh, earlier we talk about two CF four even like uh, maximum 720p. Um, so now it's not accepted anymore. It's not existed anymore. We are talking about high megapixel camera and uh, high resolution. This is the new requirement in the market. This become with a price. Uh, this came with a price. Price you have to pay in the in the network, in the storage, and in the processing mode. The third trend is the number of cameras. How many cameras? people use right now. There's increased camera count with larger video retention times. So it's not only about number of camera, number of camera increased, but also retention times increased because especially in the in the public and safety industry. Why? Because evidence um, is required to be uh, hold for a longer period, even sometimes it has to be there permanently. So you can see uh, the, the demand now with the market is for high retention period. Uh, I will give example in Saudi, for example, two years back, um, banking sector are not required to record for long periods. But with the new regulation uh, come, came in 2019, uh, the Central Bank of Saudi, they, they, they release a new regulation that required, ask the bank and demand the bank and urge the bank to uh, maintain all the evidence for at least six months. And they also, uh, the new regulation also states that number of camera has to be increased in a certain amount. So uh, for example, in the, in, the, in, the, in the bank, in a branch, you have to put a certain amount of camera to cover a, a specific location in the in the branch. That was earlier not be not not exist. Earlier it was not exist. Now new regulation is demanding and forces people to increase the camera counts and increase the video retention times. 
that's the third the third trend that make uh, 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 significant significant increase in the in the data the last and uh, also important uh, trend is the expanding of uh, citywide surveillance systems uh, this is for to, to assist uh, public safety monitor traffic uh, residential regulation uh, that that requirement or that uh, demand increased because people now start to uh, use uh, CCTV not for security purposes only. They use it for different uh, uh, different application uh, traffic monitoring. The most of the cities now smart cities project is um, the core. The core of the smart city project is the surveillance or the camera because uh, you can get a lot of, uh, of information just from a frame or a video for coming from a surveillance camera. You can get information about the status of the traffic. You can get information about the, 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 the parking lots. You can get information about um, accidents and incidents in the, in the streets. So the core of the surveillance uh, project for smart cities is the is the is the video and the camera and that become a very huge increase in the demand uh, for data all these four trends represent uh, let's say a challenge for uh, people who are working in, in the security because uh, every 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 vendor every manufacturer need to uh, let's say <coughs> provide to the market the product that can serve in all these uh, trends and all application in the market. So uh, camera manufacturer need to provide high megabit resolution and uh, of course they have to focus on uh, the compression. Uh, VMS uh, 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 software uh, vendors need to uh, uh, provide a new version that can accommodate a huge number of camera on the single system. Uh, uh, hardware uh, 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 vendors uh, like Dell or others in the market need to provide uh, high capable servers that can process all these data, capable uh, switches that can uh, accommodate all all and transport all the all the data from the from the cameras to the the back end. Uh, the storage solution providers. Uh, also need to provide uh, storage that is scalable that can accommodate a, a huge amount of data, a huge amount of video, and in the same time, still you can retrieve the video, you can archive the video, you can you can the, uh, process the video in the storage itself. So these challenges are met by Dell EMC as compared to the hardware part, uh, the server, the network, and the storage. As we said, this huge significant increase in data uh, make the organization need to shift their way of thinking about the surveillance, um, about the surveillance data and how they treat their surveillance uh, application. So most of our organization now are asking for architecture that is uh, open architecture, scalable architecture and enterprise ready in order to manage their current and future uh, data sources demands. So uh, there are four solution to uh, or four, uh, let's say, uh, factors we have to consider in, in order to face the challenge of increasing the data. First, scaling for the future. Second, shifting to enterprise model. And third is em uh, embracing the open platform. And of course, uh, all this has to be easy to deploy. So uh, for scaling for the future, uh, when you purchase a product or organization need to work on a new project, they have to ask how easy uh, for them uh, to manage the growing volume of uh, surveillance solution. Uh, uh, are they going to accommodate these videos on premises or on cloud? Um, you have to ask all these questions when you have a new project to yourself or to, to your customer. 
Uh, will they be adding uh, new devices? And what about the retention requirement expected to change uh, later on? Uh, what kind of procedures um, in, to manage the civilians data across all the, the, the life cycle of the project? Uh, can the network sufficiently uh, handle the video traffic or not? So um, in order to uh, to find uh, the right solution that's scalable for the future, you have to ask all these questions and you have to find the answer for all this. Um, shifting to an enterprise, again, another set of questions, you have to answer it uh, along with your customer. Uh, uh, if they want the software uh, update to be tied to the hardware or not, how quickly they, ne they need to, uh, let's say, re-innovate and um, um, re renew the system. How easy to integrate with other systems and uh, different kind of uh, of data and legal uh, investigations, uh, the devices uh, or systems. Um, are they considering to the cost to purchase and manage? I mean, with the 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 this kind of uh, agreement can be done. Uh, do they want a platform uh, that map the data volume or not? So um, if you answer all this question, you can find the right solution that will shift to enterprise model. Again, another set of questions about the uh, open platform. Do they need to analyze the data or not? Because if they want to analyze the data, that means you have to integrate with other systems that will help to analyze the data. That means you need uh, a really open platform uh, with a, a capability of integration. How satisfied uh, with the integration of the surveillance with the with their IT infrastructure in the project? Uh, is it to deploy? Of course, we we cannot um, uh, go for a very complex solution that uh, will be hard to deploy or hard to maintain. So again, we have to consider the easy to to deploy factor. If we answer all these questions, we'll have a a, a clear. Uh, vision, uh, clear picture about the, the 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 project, and how to deal with the project, what kind of product we can we can provide. Why we have to go to Dell? We can sell Dell because uh, so Dell can meet all the requirements we talked about in the last two slides. The Dell introduced the 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 architecture. Uh, uh, into the industry, which is built for surveillance. It's not like a product for IT application, and then we grab it and put it for surveillance application. No, they can provide a product that's built um, uh, for uh, surveillance application. It can uh, accommodate and deal with the workload of the videos and, uh, and, uh, and surveillance. Second, um, uh, also, which is uh, really uh, amazing that Dell for the last maybe six, seven years in a the row, they are the first uh, uh, storage provider and uh, infrastructure surveillance infrastructure provider around the world. They are the number one as paired to IHS. So if the if the surveillance infrastructure is the foundation of of your project, uh, Dell EMC uh, are obvious are obviously is the uh, your choice for for your uh, demand or your project. Third reason why we can go for Dell, uh, why people go for Dell is the that uh, Dell AMC has the industry top uh, surveillance storage and uh, infrastructure ecosystem with leading surveillance vendor uh, that can that that are capable of of building uh, proven video and surveillance management software into your architecture that will enhance the security, enhance the uh, uh, applying the, the application, performing the analytics. So this kind of ecosystem is unique for Dell MC. You cannot find anybody, any other uh, vendor in the competition uh, that can provide this kind of uh, of ecosystem with other, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, proven video surveillance management software. And uh, of course, uh, the industry largest, most uh, advanced validation labs. Uh, with Dell MC, you can find 
all the document that can support your architecture. When you have a solution, when you have a design, and you need to to provide it to your uh, your customer, uh, you need something to back you back you up. And you need something that uh, will tell the customer my design is right, my design is uh, um, uh, practical, my design is the best. And in order to do that, you have to get a, a valid. Uh, uh, documents. These kind of valid documents that can support you, support your design, is provided by Dell MC because they already have the largest uh, surveillance validation labs that can uh, um, give you all the data you need during your design and to support you uh, how to validate your design. Again, uh, we, we are talking here about open uh, platform, scalable infrastructure. Uh, this kind of uh, scalable open platform uh, infrastructure coming from Dell is suitable for any any architecture. So any any surveillance infrastructure you are talking about, if your system gonna be distributed system or a centralized system or even cloud based system, then MC can provide you with the right product. So whatever your design is, how you will design your system, still then MC can provide you the right product for your design. Okay. So they design because they'll design the, the working reference architecture that will reflect uh, how they'll uh, complement your your property. Um, this is meant like a starting guide with flexibility in uh, every individual uh, technologies. Um, so uh, the the key point here that you can focus with your customer on is either your system is distributed or centralized or cloud-based, DLMC can give you the whole three things, the open platform, the scalable infrastructure, and the reliability. So uh, there's no restriction about the system design architecture type, um, whether it's your type uh, distributed, centralized, or cloud, you can find, uh, you can again, the whole uh, benefits from open and scalable infrastructure. This slide is giving you idea how the MC can provide end-to-end -end solution. So uh, as you can see on the top, uh, different number of uh, cameras that refers to different uh, project size. So starting from small, very small, project of 16 camera or less to uh, a huge project with one more 1000 camera or more uh, still DMC has different product serves in different architecture layer so uh, you can find here all the architecture layer acquire transport aggregate act and retain and here is sub layers about the transport for example networking security and data protection you'll get analyze management uh, computing storage, external storage, and converged storage, and here act central monitoring and so on. So uh, you can find with all the architecture layer and the function of each architecture layer, you can find the right product that can serve with different uh, sizes of project. As you can see, most of the of the of the of the slide is in green green colors. Only two things that they do not provide till now is the cameras and the video management software. Then the rest of the system can be built on Dell itself. The rest of the system can be built on Dell uh, itself, Dell product. Uh, that means one vendor, you have a peace in mind regarding the integration and the performance of this of the whole system because if you if you if you get the network if you get the servers if you get the workstation and storage coming from single vendor you are 100 percent uh guarantee the performance of your system you have a peace of mind about the the uh, uh, uh how to maintain the system how to uh, uh 
to integrate the system it, with each other. So uh, that means uh, a lot of uh, saving and, and efforts and money and the time as well. Another slide is talking about the same idea is about again the deployment size, whatever is your deployment size, and uh, if you talk about servers and networking and storage, you can see different products that can serve in different deployment size. So, for example, in the storage, you can start with MD or small and medium project, then SCV if you need even more cameras. And of course, the I04 uh, huge and large uh, uh, camera count product, uh, camera count project. Uh, yes, again, we talk about uh, the distributed and decentralized and the cloud. Whatever your architecture is, you can find the right product. But here, this uh, I want to focus here about uh, uh, three things only from this slide. Uh, it's about the key ceiling uh, words that we used uh, in different project uh, architecture. So if we talk about distributed uh, solution, a distributed solution, most of the people who are asking for distributed solution actually care about three things, about the, the high bandwidth and the reliability and affordability. This is the main concern of, of, the, of the organization that seek for distributed solution. So uh, they are, let's say, if we have a, a, a retail project, they have 100 branch, for example, four or five camera, 10 cameras in each branch. People are seeking for, uh, always care about and concern about the high bandwidth, the reliability and affordability, because in each branch, they will um, install the cameras, the NVRs, um, uh, small NVRs, and then another branch, the same thing. So for them, it's very, very important to to know how about the high bandwidth and reliability and how much does it cost for the distributed. But for centralized project, we usually don't use the same words because uh, uh, customers who are seeking for central usually are seeking for a pro for for a system that can accommodate a huge number of camera in one location. So their main concern is the massive scale. Is the system is scalable or not? They need a, a massive scale uh, uh, hardware infrastructure, and they need, uh, of course, to do some analytic ready, and they need to, uh, 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 let's say, guarantee the archiving and all other features that related to uh, a centralized project with massive scale of cameras. So. Uh, we normally in the market, I can see people use uh, the wrong word for for the wrong project. So um, he can talk about affordability all over the way. No, when we talk about centralized and massive scale project, affordability is second to concern for for the customer. His main concern is the uh, complexity of the system to be less. He need uh, uh, analytic ready project, analytic ready system. He need to ensure the archiving and all other feature related to his uh, system. When we talk about cloud based solution, another key words we have to use. You are a salespeople, you need to use the right word that will open the door for you. Uh, so for cloud solution, no, we are talking about people who care or the main concern is the faster infrastructure. He need to operate his system, his system as soon as possible, even immediately. He will ask for immediate action and immediate operation. So his his concern is about the faster infrastructure and deployment. And of course, he's talking. Uh, his second concern is the elastic system. He need an elastic system that he can expand uh, whenever he want. And of course, cloud can provide all this. If you use the right word, you will open the door for yourself in the for the customer. Don't go for a customer who need a cloud based solution or and talk about the affordability and the reliability. No, this is the wrong word. 
don't go for a, a, a centralized for a distributed uh, 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 solution and talk to him about the massive scale and the analytic ready. It, it's not his main concern. So uh, I'm always care that everybody work with the MC know which word he can say to which customer. You have to uh, segregate or uh, differentiate between different projects and what kind of word you will use. Again, another slide talking about the validated partner uh, solution. As I said before, you need somebody who can support your design. And of course, because Dell has extensive validated partner solution. So uh, as you can see, huge number of main uh, 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 surveillance um, vendors here, starting from virtualization security up to VMS and analytics. Everybody has already working with Dell MC in multiple projects around the world, and the whole system is validated. So you have a peace of mind when you do your design. You know that this kind of design mostly happen in some, some part of the world and it's working, it is fine, it is okay. It is validated and, have, uh, and uh, this validation will support your design in front of your customer. Why uh, you need some validation? Of course, you need validation to support you in front of your customer. Second is to reduce the deployment risk because you have you can follow what's the, what have been done already. You you can reduce the deployment risk. You know exactly when you put this server with this kind of storage with this number of camera and VMS. You know the results from the, the beginning, so this will decrease the the, the deployment risk. It will reduce the, the, the support requirement. You don't need uh, a huge support from your the, your vendor or 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 any IT uh, existing in the in the in the in the project. You will reduce uh, the support requirement, and you will provide a known performance baseline for uh, production environment. And of course, the the reference architecture and the white paper is available for you, so it will help you in the design process. So this kind of uh, validation, it's not easy thing. Uh, no, actually, it's a practical thing you can use. And you then starting from the design, you, you can use the reference architecture, you can use the white paper, you can use the, the sizing guideline coming in order to support your design. And then even after that, you can, it will reduce your support requirement, it will reduce your deployment risk. Uh, we talk generally about the key strong point for Dell, how Dell is, uh, uh, represent themselves in the market. Let's go a little bit for uh, uh, Dell MC portfolio for surveillance solution. I need you to, to be familiar with at least uh, the most famous uh, product from Dell MC uh, in the market right now. So first we talk about the computing uh, device. And of course, uh, many of you has been working with Dell and know very familiar about the uh, uh, the, the 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 series of uh, of servers. But we, we will talk now about how to sell these servers. What kind of words and uh, you can use to to sell your server? What kind of things that uh, Dell MC actually uh, do for their product to differentiate their product than others in the market? But first we have to know that uh, we are now in the middle of two era. We actually now between, between the, the era of IT transformation and the era of the digital transformation. Earlier organization actually used the IT and optimized the IT, the IT for the business. If, uh, if, if I have a, a, a bank, I need a very strong data center because it will help me to do my banking uh, business in a better way. So IT is optimized for the business itself. But now we are going or started already to go to the digital transformation. We, what's the difference in the digital transformation? IT itself is the business. 
So instead of putting a data center to serve my my banking business, actually now the IT itself become the business. Why? Because now I have a portal, I have online banking, I have uh, 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 a mobile application for the bank. Everything is done by the IT. Nobody actually goes to the branch. Uh, uh, mostly we don't go to the branch anymore. We don't go to the bank anymore. So IT become itself is the business. Um, what what does what, what did this happen? Why did this happen? And how it affect the the surveillance? Of course, it affect the surveillance because, uh, for example, people start to use the face recognition in banking in order uh, to decrease the number of cards in your pocket, and uh, they start to do this everywhere. Uh, they start to do it in the airport because. Now you can go to the airport and uh, check in in the country without even uh, uh, stamp your passport anymore. Alas, you have your face in the database. You put your uh, finger biometric or or, or 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 eye recognition, face recognition, and that's it. You are in the country, and uh, the same is happening different different uh, verticals for banking. Some people now start some banking now start experimentally start to uh, uh, use the face recognition in order to uh, withdraw or uh, uh, deal with the with the ATM machines because the camera already exists in the machine and your 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 photo uh, your face is already recorded in the system of the bank so instead of you print you uh, a credit card and the debit card and uh, and you will lose the card and then the bank will print it to you again and uh, of course the bank spent a lot of time a lot of money to do a security for all these cards so instead of all this what if we go to the atm our face will be captured by the camera and the the system will recognize you as you as uh, ex uh, uh, client of the bank and then you can do whatever you want without even holding a card this kind of uh, uh, traditional and cloud native application will affect our life in the coming five years so we have to understand that uh, in order to understand the, the coming demand in the market and this kind of making the IT itself is has to be done with the core of uh, how to do that core of how to do that is the servers you need a processing power you need high processing power in order to make everything automated in order to use the artificial intelligence in order to use the face recognition in order to use all these kind of trends and te new technologies you have to do it through a processing bar very high processing bar that's what they'll do actually they'll provide high uh, processing power in different series of servers different families of servers each and every one of them uh, actually uh, is built for a certain purposes uh, that was like um, she chat with you about the, the 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 business in the in the right uh, in the current market. So uh, let's talk. Let's go through uh, the the core of the of the of the of the new transformation. The servers. Okay. So uh, the server actually is the most uh, important. Uh, component of the modern IT infrastructure and the primary source of uh, competitive advantage of uh, for a business. So one essential uh, component, one of the essential component of the modern infrastructure is the server. Uh, as a modern infrastructure, uh, start to prepare to handle uh, multitudes of workload. You have very big multitude of workload that are mixed of uh, IT and uh, digital transformation task. Uh, so it has to really by manage and diverse set of of, uh, of traditional and emerging uh, workload.
why the LMC server, not other server? A lot of reason. I I concluded in this uh, uh, seven reasons. Uh, so the LMC means industry leading expertise. People who are uh, in the server industry for uh, tens of years and uh, single supplier for testing class solution. Uh, you can upgrade uh, your server and system with the MEC upgrades, so you don't have to throw back through uh, servers that all servers you have, uh, whether it's a storage or a processor or memory can upgrade it with the DLMC upgrade. Uh, that the pioneer approach and the product excellence enhancing uh, you the, the business repetition. Uh, DLMC innovation, quality and efficiency. Uh, DLMC functional financial services make it easier for uh, for customer to make the IT invest investment without capital outlay. All these reason will make the choice is to go to uh, the Dell uh, MC Power Edge. Let's talk about the uh, the main reason why should we use Dell MC server than other servers in the market. The main use actually is the the LMC actually faced the challenges, the challenges that people talk about when they are asking for servers. The first challenge is to is the server adapt and scale to dynamic business needs. OK, so uh, how dynamic is your portfolio so I can choose the right server? The second thing is the automation, automation to sustain and to grow. The third thing is to to uh, uh, protect uh, uh, the the server itself and to protect the business. So first one is the scalable business architecture. The, the scalable business architecture coming from Dell will will face the challenge of adapt and scale. Each power edge server is designed uh, on the SPA. That is. Uh, uh, technology that first and foremost enable the server to optimize for multitude of workload. So it can face different workload. This makes the servers highly adaptable and enable seamless scaling, yet perform very efficiently. So first one is already, the first challenge is already faced by scalable business architecture, SPA, scalable business architecture. Uh, I, I'm focusing on this kind of work because this kind of work is the key selling point. So the second thing is the automation. Uh, automation means that I don't need a manpower all the time to maintain, sustain, and uh, uh, fix uh, my my issues with the server. In, I, in, in case I has the automation, uh, this will help uh, to. Uh, uh, reduce the, the 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 manpower who are dealing with the system. Intelligent automation um, feature that uh, Dell MC provide uh, on every power edge platform. There is a pool uh, to business in terms of saving time and resources. So among of all this re re regarding automation, we'll talk about the iDRIC and the open manage. Uh, this open manage is uh, a system management that offering help to automate uh, many routine tasks as well as some complex uh, tasks that you don't need to use uh, a, a power a, a manpower in order to do it. It's uh, agent free embedded uh, server management and standard based system management uh, solution. These uh, two technologies together provide intelligent automation technology that will help to reduce the manpower and will give you the automation for your uh, for your system and this is by default coming with each and every single bar edge uh, series se servers what's the meaning of that idrick means integrated dell remote access control this is actually the brain behind the automate the automation feature built on the power edge does the competitors have something like that in the market? Nobody has this kind of of uh, of controller because it's an agent free. You, others may have something similar to that, but not with all the feature and not for free. 
This is the Asian fleet embedded server management. It will help you to, to automate uh, all the life cycle of the controller. Actually, it's like an embedded processor that uh, will give the control of, of your server. Same thing is the Open Manage, which is a standard based system management solution. This will help you to uh, maintain and automate all the cycle of your server, starting from the deployment phase with the updates, monitor and maintain. It will give you like a, a chart with all uh, the status of every single thing in the server, the BIOS, the uh, the power, the performance, uh, the configuration, um, the operating system deployment. You can actually monitor your server, hold your server from one single uh, dashboard. So along with the iTrick, Open Management will provide uh, a very unique uh, solution for automation uh, for the server. Why is that important? Because of all this number you can see. You can see 99% less time to deploy your server with open management, I trick and life, uh, with lifecycle controller with zero touch auto configuration. This is a lot of money, by the way. It's not only time because you will need less people to deploy your system. 55% faster configuration of network setting and uh, 213 hands on process eliminated. If we talk about like 300 of uh, 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 processes that the server do, you have 213 processes. You don't need to use people to do it. Six times faster of the replacement using the iDrake. If you have something to replace, six times faster than others for the replacement. That means less time of uh, of system down and 91% less time to maintain the configuration profile and the accuracy. The third challenge is the uh, uh, resilient uh, architecture that will help to protect your data. So we talked about the scalable business architecture we talked about the intelligent automation and the third challenge is to the cyber and architecture that can protect, detect, cover and real time uh, uh, in the life cycle of the server. Uh, cyber resilient CRA and it is at the core of the power edge integrated security. Uh, the CRA approach is uh, robust since it uh, infused the security mindset right from design of the component to the subsystem to the platform. So uh, all the three challenges that face anybody who are asking for servers for any application are already faced and uh, uh, Dell MC provides solution for all these kind of challenges. The CRA, the Cyber Resilient Architecture, the SPA, the scalable business architecture, and the th third thing is the automation, the intelligent automation. Let's talk a little bit more about uh, the support. This is services from Bar Edge Server Solution, AIM, Architect, Implement, and Manage. You can uh, get these services from Dell uh, for Architect, um, they will provide IT transform uh, workshop implement. You can get the pro, or the pro deployment enterprise suite. You can purchase it uh, and you will get your server is already pro deploy and manage. If you uh, choose to, to go with the pro support enterprise suite, then the MC can provide the manage uh, service for you. Uh, the coming slide is talking about uh, three, four product of the series of uh, our series servers, which usually use for uh, for uh, surveillance. One of the most popular server is the R440. It's uh, optimized for uh, Dennis scale, so it's only one new uh, uh, dynasty. So uh, target workload is the high performance computing 
uh, streaming deployment. Well, we talk about surveillance, so this device is uh, very suitable for streaming deployment. I usually use the R440 as a management server in, uh, in a surveillance project. Uh, it can work as a recording server, but unfortunately, uh, this server, because it's one new only, it comes with uh, 2.5 uh, inch drives only. So, uh, or if you use the 3.5, you you can accommodate only four for uh, hard drive inside it. So it's very suitable to be a management uh, server because it's uh, the target workload is the streaming uh, deployment. Uh, the server provide 27 percent increase uh, in the core. It can accommodate Intel uh, uh, processors, uh, either it's uh, uh, bronze, gold, or silver. Or silver. So 50% uh, increase in the memories and the bandwidths than others in the market. This is the R440. The R540 is similar to the R440, but with one more uh, advantage that can you, it can accommodate up to 14 hard drive 3.5. So you can actually guarantee almost 140 TP uh, or more inside the, sin the single server. The R740, actually we use it most of the time as a recording server, all analytic server. So uh, the R740 and recently they actually released the R750, not 40, the fifth generation of it. Uh, it uh, this server has a very high input output uh, and also it, uh, it can accommodate uh, a GPU for uh, for uh, virtual uh, for uh, sorry for uh, video analytics so you can uh, put uh, the gpu inside it and uh, it is very suitable for uh, for streaming and uh, rendering the videos so usually use it for uh, recording <laughs> server <laughs> this <laughs> server... sorry <laughs> Can, can you mute yourself, please? Okay. 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 Almost more than around 200 uh, terabyte on the same server. Of course, we have 740 XD, which even come with uh, more uh, pace uh, for hard drive, so it can accommodate 18 hard drive uh, 3.5, and it has the same uh, capabilities of the 740 with more hard drive pace. Uh, there is also 740 XD2, but it's, uh, I don't have slide for it right now. Even can provide around uh, more than 20, 24, uh, 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 3.5 hard drives. So uh, we talked about the servers. Let's navigate a little bit about the storage. Uh, what are the storage challenges that uh, people mostly use, uh, mostly face? Um, actually, it's four main challenges. First challenge is mounting pressure to do more with less. So people usually have problem with budget shifts and to managing IT infrastructure. Uh, difficult to choose the right IT because uh, product only vendor and uh, people start to talk about minimizing the risk. We will answer. I can see one question. We will answer all the question end of the of the session. We we still have like uh, twenty minutes more. Uh, increasing the the pace of business growth and storage lifecycle complexity. So all these challenges are uh, facing um, everyone want to deploy a new storage in his system. So what they'll actually provide for this. They'll actually provide cost effective solution that can suit any budget or any situation and they empower the, the IT uh, team. Uh, second challenge faced by uniquely qualified because we are talking about the first number one uh, uh, 
storage and server uh, in the world, full hardware software portfolio and proving customer focus. They can also provide future proof that their product can work with any workload, any protocol, any deployment strategy, any protection strategy. And of course, the last and fourth uh, uh, challenge faced by providing life cycle uh, quality, easy web ordering, all inclusive software options, self-optimizing architecture and self-service and support. So each and every challenge facing anybody who want to deploy a new storage have been faced by a solution coming from the MC. Let's talk about one of the most uh, famous families of, uh, of storage, mid-range storage coming from Dell MC is the convenient uh, series family or the SC. As you can see, SC uh, come with different uh, sizes or different subfamilies, let's say, uh, starting from SCV 3000 up to SC uh, 9720. Uh, mostly we use the SCV for our uh, application for surveillance, SCV 3000. Why? Because actually we don't know, we don't actually need all the features and the capability of the of the other uh, SC series for our our uh, application. So SCV 3000 is the most suitable for surveillance application. As you can see, what SC series family provide provide different protocol support. So uh, either it's a fiber channel, rice casi or SAS, it can be uh, accommodated in the in the in the in the storage. It also provides the data uh, reduction about doing the compression and deduplication. It can also provide multi-array with a snapshot uh, snapshot mobility, replication and federation. So as you can see, also even the, the, the business continuity about the, the sync replication, the, the data uh, metro uh, DR and recovery point, all these kind of features will help your customer to first minimize uh, the requirement of the storage, second, guarantee the high performance, third, uh, guarantee the the safety of the data inside the storage because of this all this uh, uh, data reduction uh, uh, and multi array uh, to change your architecture because it, it the, the the storage can work with any any different any the, the protocol uh, like SAS or IceCloud or FC. So what I'm trying to say is it can fit all the requirement. It can fit and uh, uh, comply all the requirements uh, for your customer. So SC is one of the best mid-range storage in the market, and the price is also very competitive. Of course, uh, Dell has another uh, mid-range uh, uh, storage solution called ME. Uh, uh, ME also has most of the SC uh, uh, features uh, with even less prices. As you can see, something very, very good features here, I want to highlight it, is the volume advisor and volume migrate. This kind of volume advisor and live migrate provide a very important benefit, which is intelligent uh, replancing. So if you have multiple nodes or multiple, let's say, uh, devices, the system itself can do the live migrate and give you a volume advisor. This will help you to do the balance all over the nodes, all over the devices automatically. Okay. The second is that it will help you to enhance the system IOPS and CPU utilization and system capacity. Uh, so this this kind of features, you cannot find it in any mid-range uh, storage in the market except from the LMC. Again, another feature is that you actually pay money to use uh, uh, all your resources or all the resources inside the solution you have. So uh, this architecture uh, 
is always working 100% for the business. Why? Because you will guarantee that uh, it's active, active uh, uh, controller, not active passive controller. Why is this important? Because this will help you to get the 100% performance from your device. That doesn't. That means that you you don't have one. Uh, controller stand by waiting for the working controller to fail and then start to work. It's not being used most of the time, but with DMC it's active active control. That means if you have two controller, that means both controller are working all the time. In case one of them is fail, the other will take care of the system. But in most cases, in most of the time, your both con you have two controller working around the, the clock, around the hour. Let's talk about Isilon. Uh, a few slides and we will finish because this is the last part of our session today. I know we passed the time, but uh, we we need only ten minutes. As you can see, Isilon is uh, uh, the the high end storage that provided from Dell AMC. Um, Isilon uh, technology uh, is based on something called OneFS or one file system. That means there is a software layer that control all the Isilon and all the processes in the Isilon. And this software layer is talking to everything, mostly everything with different protocol like HTTP, SMB, FTP, HDFS, any kind of protocol for any other can talk to the OneFS and one FS will take the deal. Let's talk about the most important thing that differentiate Isilon than any other traditional uh, storage in the market. Let's talk about first the initial system implementation, how to implement uh, Isilon and how other tra traditional storage is implemented. As you can see, this is a traditional storage system implement implementation, a group of cameras connected to a recording server, and this server is connected to a specific storage with logical LANs and volumes here. As you can see, the system is a little bit complex because it has three layers. Layer one, layer two, layer three. This will increase the complexity, but with Isilon, we actually eliminate one layer because all the servers are talking to the same storage volume. It's not divided uh, and dedicated for each store, uh, each, uh, each server as before. OK, let's talk about something else. What about the operation? How the system is operated? In traditional storage, you can see a group of cameras send some videos to a specific server, and this specific server is talking to a specific part of the storage, as you can see now. which is OK, no problem, but we have some volumes which are full and other volumes are less. Why? Because the feeds coming from a specific number of camera is more than the feeds coming from other specific number of cameras. That will lead to some volumes are almost full, some volumes are almost empty. There is no balancing here. What to do, actually we have to, in order to do the balance between volume and in order to make this volume still accepting video, we have to migrate the video from the volume to another volume using the server itself, which make the server busy talking to these volumes instead of making it busy getting videos from the cameras. What about Eisen status? So Isilon solve all this, sending all the files to one volume. There is no dedicated volume for different servers. So one volume receiving all the videos from all the servers. And the system itself, because of the one FS, will do the balance bet all, between all the, new, the nodes in the volume. 
so uniform and automatic data distribution. What about if I move or add or change in the system? In case you, for traditional storage, you need to two hours at least to add new volume. And then you need even more hours to migrate the videos from the crowded volume to the new volume. So you need at least 12 hours to migrate the videos and do remapping for the video cameras. What about the case of, again, another case, what if I add more camera? If I add more camera, this volume cannot accommodate it. Why? Because from the beginning, the design is, this volume is dedicated for a certain number of camera. And if you increase the camera, the volume cannot accommodate it. So uh, what actually I don't do as it is like this, you can even add any any number of camera as long as all the videos coming to the same destination. And even if you need to add more nodes, you can add it in two minutes and migration will be done automatically inside the ISRUN itself. You don't need to use the recording servers. What about if the server itself is out of service, server outage? What will happen in the case of traditional data, traditional storage? This is what will happen. If the server is out, all these part of the storage will be useless because it can it cannot be reached, it cannot be used. So insufficient and loss of all the recorded data attached to the failed server. And then you have to remap all the camera to go to different servers until the, the main server return back to work. What I didn't do, nothing will be lost because the video is already there, no overhead needed, no loss of video, no rem remapping for the storage. If the storage itself fail, not the server, if the storage itself fail, in that case, Let's say we have two part of this volume is the is lost. So the loss of disk result, loss of access to the recorded video. With Isron, even losing a full uh, entire node, not only disks, there is no loss of video because of a feature called Smart Connect coming with the one FS. As you can provide a different way to store the data, retrieve the data. So it has a different uh, uh, architecture than the traditional storage. Of course, Isron is not a cheap product, but it will be very cheap with the huge amount of uh, uh, petabyte needed. Why? Because in, in case you increase uh, the, 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 the demand increase for the petabyte, in that case, uh, Isilon uh, price per beta is less than any other solution in the market. That was the last slide of our of our session today, and uh, thank you for listening. We are ready now to to receive.